Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First thing's nice if you're new here. Please subscribe, you don't have to of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so let's just start off by talking about something which is huge to a lot of people. But I want to start off with one message that let thoughts just be thoughts. Okay, so let whatever's going through your head just be a passing thought. What does that mean? So for many, many people will know and can relate to, to what I'm uh, trying to approach here, but not sure if I'm successfully doing it or not. A lot of people can suffer with OCD. And of course, people can have that on varying levels on, the, on, on a spectrum of OCD. Um, and of course, along with that comes intrusive thoughts. Now, from kind of talking of minor severity to huge severity, Thoughts such as if you do not do something or if you do not do something to a certain number or a certain activity, then something disastrous or something horrible is going to either happen to you or somebody you love. And sometimes that can be just an example of an intrusive thought. It can be one of many things. It can mean almost like your head, almost giving you an image which you're taking so much notice of that it can almost make you feel as though those thoughts are really quite true. And unfortunately, they hold such a detrimental effect to our well-being, our overall health, and sometimes even leading to our physical health. Mental health, as we are made more than aware so frequently nowadays, that it's so important. But how often do we actually take a time to reflect and have a look at what goes on in our own head? With the pressures of everyday life, it's so easy to fall into a trap and a real vicious circle but that actually if we don't do something, then we're not successful. If we're not successful, we're never going to get to where we want to be. If we're never going to get to where we want to be, then what is that life all about? A few split seconds there. I've been so nasty, so malicious to myself. But my head, for a long time, growing up throughout my later teen years and my early 20s, OCD has always been there. I think it's healthy to have an element of OCD or an tendency to obsess over small things, like the, obsess, um, like the ability to obsess over whether or not you're going to be on time, let's say, for an interview, or that you must look a certain way. I think to an extent, that's quite a healthy trait to hold, because of course, you're having that awareness, that evaluation all the time, that actually, that things do happen, and you do need to be careful, you do need to be meticulous in the way that you carry out your your day-to-day -day life. But when it starts to become an intrusive measure on your life, and it's taking the fun, let's put it that way, or the feel-good factor out of an activity, and it becomes a monotonous, almost vicious circle, which is detrimental to how you're feeling in your own well-being, then there's, there's an issue becoming. Lately, it seems to have come back to me, and it seems to have cascaded into quite an issue. It's been an issue since losing my grandmother um, back last year, which I struggle with on a daily basis. Throwing on the stresses and strains of trying to be successful in my job, and I've recently just had a promotion, and actually this coming week I'm going to be going for another promotion, um, and keeping that whole life cycle going um, and moving forward. But in the background, of course, we can wear a smile and make that everything's fine. But many of us deal with things such as those obsessions, those kind of compulsions to do something to be able to feel okay, or that we must do this because these thoughts which we're acknowledging in our head is being, number one, you've built this habit up that you need to almost do this pattern or series of events or, or, or thoughts or one thing or another coping mechanisms for you to be able to go about your day or for you to feel successful or for you to even feel happy. Now, do you know what? My number, and I've never really shared this with many people at all, and you may think how strange I'm sharing with my channel now, but my channel means a lot to me. And as I say, um, to me, very often, it's almost like I'm I'm talking feelings, thoughts, emotions out. I very often look at my channel as almost like a visual, uh, virtual kind of diary and almost like a coping mechanism. So that's why I'm sharing this with you. Um, and at the moment, it's, it's a stage where I feel that I'm going through a stressful period and that this stress really kind of pushes that kind of obsession and those kind of intrusive thoughts. For me, it's more kind of horrible sort of thoughts coming through my head, which I know is just 
a thought. It's just an element of being human that we see things. A stray thought can come into your head, but it's what we do with that thought and that acknowledgement which kind of puts us into the pile or directs us whether you've got an issue with OCD and compulsions or that actually you're, you're physically and mentally uh, your well-being is in a good place, and then you just ignore that thought and you go about your day. It's when it starts to have an effect on you, and that kind of cumulative effect that actually, one after another, you've acknowledged this real horrendous thought which has come into your head because you're stressed and you're worried in one thing or another, and then you dwell on that thought, and then it starts to affect your well-being, and then it starts to make you feel like you've had a bad afternoon, and a bad afternoon turns into a couple of bad days, and then all of a sudden you find yourself into a bit of a dark situation which, of course, is a cascading event from you just acknowledging those thoughts, which should just be thoughts. Now, I wish that I could turn my sort of clock back on my whole life to think that actually when these first started to come about, if I was just a little bit more harder, I suppose, inside, or a little bit more developed, I suppose, emotionally, or sort of more adult about emotions, then I could kind of think to myself, actually, laugh it off because it is just a thought, or actually say to yourself, cool. Where did that come from? But not acknowledging it to the point, why did that happen? Where did that come from? Because the minute I started to do that, I found myself thinking and kind of cascading into a bit of a, a path. And now it's almost very difficult sometimes to get back to that healthy state of mind to think that they are only just thoughts. I'll tell you, I'll let you into a little bit of a secret. So my faith means a lot to me. And through my darkest of times, my faith is almost giving me that handrail in life that everything's going to be okay, as well as the love and the support from my mum and my dad, and then my nan. Sadly, I don't have her anymore, which of course is tough, but I've always had that, that kind of circle, my mum, my dad, my nan, kind of bit like the parent table, and I had my face supporting that, and I'm a good person. I like to smile. I like to talk to people. I like to do good in this life. I truly do believe that we have one life. Why wouldn't you want to spend it doing good things? Then I get a little bit stressed out about going for a job or I get a little bit stressed out because somebody's not particularly well or I've had my own health problems. And then I get these silly thoughts come into my head. I don't mean thoughts like doing any harm or anything like that to yourself. I mean these silly thoughts, like something which is very dear and close to your heart. But yet you get this intrusive thought come into your head, which makes you feel a bit weird or a bit unhappy or where the hell did that come from? And then you dwell on it. Whereas what I should be doing is not asking why it happened, where it come from. And what made this happen in my head and actually just think, you know what, you've seen something, something's happened, someone was a bit stressed today, a thought went on in your head and it was just a thought because thoughts are just thoughts. Now, if I was going to then go and react and respond on those thoughts, then that's completely different. And that's somebody who potentially has a bit of ill health going on or mental health problems. If it's just a thought and it is just those thoughts, and I say just not very likely at all, because thoughts can be hugely detrimental if you're in a position and you're taking note of them so much that it's getting you into a physical place that actually it's making you very, very unhappy. But let me share something with you that sometimes it takes an experience to open your eyes to think that actually you are you. You're still that brilliant, hardworking, funny, brilliant, smiley individual who is set to do good in this life and will achieve great things regardless of if you're struggling right now with thoughts, because try to break it down and actually think that, do you know what? I'm going through a bit of a bad time at the moment with these thoughts or this obsession um, or uh, compulsion or OCD or whatever you want to call it, um, which of course is an, uh, which is that kind of, that feeling of having to do something almost that to ensure that something's going to be okay or somebody's going to be okay or you're going to be all right or something's gonna be successful or to get through an event or, or through a day. So, yeah, it, it's really, really difficult. But I think breaking it down to like what I'm doing at the moment, and actually yesterday I met up with a very, very good friend of mine um, who I hadn't seen for many years. He was an old school friend of mine, and it really, really opened my eyes when he was reminding me about all these funny times when we were roaring with laughter at times, all these things which happened, and the person who I used to be. Health has changed me a lot, but it doesn't define me. But when I hear about the different things and how I used to be, it has really kind of woken me up to think that actually, do you know what, Bradley? You're struggling with these thoughts, but they are just that. They're thoughts. You're still that person you were all those years ago. 
you're still that really good person at work who's working hard, who's getting that promotion, who's trying to ground themselves success in this life. Family means everything to you. Those thoughts may well be sometimes a little bit disturbing, but actually, do you know what? They're just thoughts. How many times have we in life walked down the street and looked at something and then a funny image or we imagine something absolutely ludicrous comes into our head? Because that's just life. That's what we do. And if it makes you smile, if it makes you giggle, it's just a thought. You're not a bad person. So I'm telling myself all of these things at the moment. And then, of course, with my faith getting me through so much, I almost feel like, oh, my goodness, how on earth can I then look at prayer when those thoughts have gone from my head and actually think to yourself, do you know what? They're a thought, Bradley. Get over it. Get stronger to it. And I suppose it's that almost emotional developing and acknowledging that actually this is a part of just being natural, that thoughts, feelings go through our head. It doesn't necessarily mean anything at all. So yeah, so and it is a big thing and it, and it does take time, but that's what I'm working on right now. And that woke me up from um, revisiting all these kind of great memories and things of a good friend yesterday. And I kind of was processing this in the evening and I thought, you know what, you beat yourself up about the most needless of things sometimes. And actually, if you open your eyes and actually think that you're not concentrating enough time on enjoying this life, you're dwelling on the things which are going through your head, which in a matter of fact, it's only you what's aware of it because it is just a thought. And that is what it just is a thought. So from my heart to yours, let it be that. Let thoughts just be thoughts. Do good, work hard, enjoy life. Thoughts are thoughts. It does not make you a bad person if you've had a bit of an odd or a bit of a shocking or a bit of a hilarious thought in your head at all. Because of course you're not going to act on that. Some people, absolutely there is a bit of a different conversation to be had. Absolutely there is. And there is a lot of bad things in this world. But thoughts. I know it's what we do with them, but do you know what? A thought, it is just that, isn't it? Sometimes laugh it off, think to yourself, crikey, why on earth did that come from? Or laugh about it, move on. Life is far too precious to hold on to those moments where you're festering and you're twisting yourself up, Bradley. <laughs> so if you can learn from what I'm trying to uh, express here, then I really, really do hope that I've helped somebody with that. So take away points, first things first, Thoughts are just thoughts. You're a good person. And if you want to be successful in this life, you will. Your thoughts, your intrusive thoughts, your OCD will not define you and will not hold you back from doing that. Next, don't allow your thoughts to hold you back. Next, when those thoughts come into your head, try to do something completely random. Or if you're in a room on your own and you're struggling with those thoughts and you're thinking, crikey, where else is that coming from? Open that door, go downstairs or go into, I don't know, a study, open a book or look at some funny things on YouTube or play some music or just break, break that, that kind of vicious circle, break that up. Because when you start breaking that up, your mind then has to start learning new patterns. And once you start learning new patterns of how to deal with things, you're not going to be jumping from intrusive thought to worry, to fear, to destroying your own mental well-being. You're going to have that thought, you're going to walk out the room, you're going to do something different, play some music, and then you're going to think, oh, it's gone out of my head. And the more times you break that cycle, you're going to get there. Okay, so from my heart to yours, sounded American. <laughs> so from my heart to yours, I really do hope that that's helped you. Um, I really do hope that it's helped myself, to be quite honest with you. And if you do have any questions or any thoughts or feelings for me at all, then please leave them down below and I do my utmost best to get back to you. Thank you very much. God bless. Take great care and I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.